With the start of a new year, that means a new lineup of Nintendo games waiting for us upon the horizon. And man, what a lineup it is. So today I decided to do things a little differently. Today I'm going to take you on a journey of games I'm looking forward to the most in 2022. Today we will dive into what makes Ace Monkey, Ace Monkey. Today we will voyage into the mind of Ace Monkey. But first, we gotta address the elephant in the room. We are at 2,000 subscribers! Cue the music! And it's all thanks to you. And you. And you. You too. You over there? Yeah, you too. You? No, not you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course you. All of this is possible because of every single one of you. And because of this, I'm organizing a giveaway of a $20 eShop card. I know, I know. It's not a lot, but I did want to give a little bit something back. It will be ran through Gleam, and all you have to do is follow the link in the description, then follow me on Twitter, and bam, you're in. And if you follow me on Twitter already, well, just follow the link in the description, and, and you got it. The giveaway will end February 24th, and the winner will be announced the day after, on the 25th. It will be live on my Twitch channel, so if you want to follow me there too, the link's in the description. No pressure. Alright, well, that's settled. Without further ado, Ace Monkey's most anticipated Nintendo games of 2022. Let's get started. When on road trips, Advance Wars was my go-to game. I have no idea if it was the first, second, or third one, and to be real with you guys, I have no idea how I got this game. All I know is on the road, I would whip out my CD player, pop in Green Day's American Idiot, and play some Advance Wars. Now, prior to making this video, I wasn't even sure if the game had a story or a campaign to it, but thanks to a quick Google search, I found out it does, and that alone creates an urge in me to want to play this game once more to get the full experience of it. Now, as a kid, when I started playing this game, I had no idea what the objective of this game was. Though, after losing many times, I started to understand what each character, or vehicle, or airship, you get what I'm trying to say, would do. I also began to understand their movements and developing a strategy so I wouldn't taste defeat ever again. I had never played a game of this type, and I was hooked once I understood the objective and strategic angles you had to take. The strategy this game requires, although simple on paper, can make for some complex games which kept my attention. Now that it's being ported to the Switch, well, it's my childhood all over again. But now I actually know what to do instead of constantly sending out soldiers to fight against tanks and expecting the outcome to be any different. <sighs> Legends Arceus. I had actually written something out for this part of the video, but you know what? No editing, no script, just Pokemon. When I first watched the Legend Arceus trailer, I was excited to see that Pokemon had put out a game that was very different. I was curious to see what this new world was going to bring to the table. Ever since I played Pokemon Red and Pokemon Silver on the Game Boy as a kid, I yearned for a world in which you could freely walk around the land and Pokemon were in their natural habitats, their natural environments, and you could walk around with your companion and just, it was immersive, an immersive world. And I feel now Pokemon Arceus, sorry, Legends Arceus is giving us that. We can walk around and we don't even need our companion. We can engage in combat with the wild Pokemon. I mean, we dodge and we throw rocks at them, I think. We can't punch them because, yeah, you, you, that's just, yeah, that wouldn't go. But it, it's exciting. It's something new. It's something that deep down as a kid, I've wanted and I'm, I'm getting it now. And I feel like that it, that's what's inside of me is like rejoicing. It's like, yes, this is what we've been wanting for 20 plus years. This is what we wanted. Now I understand the backlash that the game is receiving and I, I understand that sometimes there is some sort of standard for AAA titles and sometimes Pokemon doesn't give it, I, I agree. But I feel like I, that's overlooked by just how refreshing this game looks. Just because of the playstyle, the gameplay and honestly because it's Pokemon and it's something that me and maybe others as well have been wanting for a very, very long time. And yeah. I know we're a week away and I'm, I'm on Friday. I'm going to get it. I'm going to play it and I'll tell you more about it. <laughs> so there you have it. Honest, unscripted Ace Monkey opinion on Legends Arceus and why I'm so excited to play it. All right, next game. A lot of people are hyped for Triangle Strategy and why not? The combat looks great. It seems like it will have a great story. And in the words of Bruce Almighty himself, B E A. But the main reason as to why it's one of my most anticipated games of 2022? Well, to find that out, we must first talk about Octopath Traveler. Join me on this sad story on how I fell in love with the free demo of that game. And even though I love the demo, 
I have yet to play it. Back when the Octopath Traveler demo was released and the game was announced, Ace Monkey instantly fell in love with everything about the game. The playstyle, the environments, the music, the art style. Ace Monkey was ready to play the game when it released in 2018, but there was one problem. Ace Monkey at the time was jobless. At that time, he wasn't Ace Monkey, he was Jobless Monkey. So he took it upon himself to find a job to have the funds in the future to buy Octopath Traveler. He searched and searched and finally in the spring of 2018, Jobless Monkey found a job in his area of expertise and was now Employed Monkey. However, at the time, Employed Monkey had to wisely budget his money since he was now living on his own. So even though Employed Monkey loved Octopath Traveler, Employed Monkey was also I can't spend too much money on video games because I have the electricity bill to pay on Tuesday Monkey. So at the time, I had to put my love for this game on hold. I know, I know, a sad, sad story. But fast forward to last year, Triangle Strategy gets announced and it's Octopath Traveler all over again. I have had opportunities to buy and play Octopath Traveler, but I did cave in and read into the story and I feel it's not the same anymore as if I would have played it blindly. This time, I haven't played the demo of Triangle Strategy because like many of the games on this list, it's going to be a day one purchase that I want to enjoy to its entirety the day it comes out. Psst. Yeah, you. There's going to be another giveaway for another $20 eShop card, but this one is a secret. All you need to do is go to my Discord, the link's in the description, enter the giveaway channel, and type out, it's a secret to everyone. Again? Type out, it's a secret to everyone. This one will be held on the 25th of February as well, which will be streamed on my Twitch channel. Remember, it's a secret, so don't tell anyone. Now, where do we begin with this happy pink fluff ball? My first real experience with Kirby was with Kirby and the Crystal Shards for the 64. And like with the Advanced War series, I had no idea what the story was in Crystal Shards. At the time, I just loved that Kirby could turn into so many things. But what really blew my mind was that you could combine abilities that literally took it to a whole new level. I dabbled with some Kirby on the Game Boy, but Crystal Shards was my first one that I really invested quite the time into. Although simple, I had a great time with this game. Years later, I tried Epic Yarn to get back into Kirby, but it just wasn't the same. To me, it was an okay game, but it just didn't click with me. Then Rainbow Curse came out and Planet Robot and it just created disinterest in the Kirby franchise as a whole. But now, look at this. This game looks beautiful. And there seems to be so much to explore. In Crystal Shards, having two abilities, although a simple change, was huge for the series. In the Forgotten Kingdom, we are now thrown into a 3D world, a world that Kirby has seen very little of. Although a simple change, like in Crystal Shards, this is huge for the series. And that is what has me hyped up for the next Kirby installment. Oh, and, and this little guy right here. I'll probably be terrorizing him several times, but he is just so darn cute. <laughs> and of course, my most anticipated game of 2022 is the sequel to Breath of the Wild. I am beyond hyped for this game, and if you've been following my channel, well, you know why. Now, I don't think I need to explain myself for this one because many probably feel the same way, but here is 15 seconds as to why I'm so hyped. Start the timer. What's up with Link's arm? You can ride a mammoth? That's a pretty sky. Zelda! Zombie Ganondorf? A flamethrower! The sky is so pretty. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Where's the great Deku tree? How do you do that? But in all seriousness, Breath of the Wild was such an amazing game that holds a very special place in my heart. It also had such an impact that in my opinion made its mark in gaming history. So knowing that this is a direct sequel to that, well, it has me all sorts of excited just wondering what Nintendo has in store for us. I have faith in Aonuma and his team to make a great game that is even better than Breath of the Wild. I'm just very curious to see how exactly they're going to do that. And that is why I'm truly hyped up for this game. Well, there you have it. Those are the Nintendo games that I'm most hyped for in 2022. You guys got to know a little bit more about me with this video. Now I want to know a little bit more about you guys and what games you're looking forward to in 2022. So make sure you let me know down in the comments. If you like these sort of videos, let me know as well what you think. Feedback is always appreciated. Again, the link to the giveaway is in the description, so make sure not to miss on that. Thank you guys for the continuous support. Till next time, I'm Ace Monkey. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.